Hi everyone and welcome to another video from Divine by Design. Today I'm going to show you the new Breezer Light Removable Gel Smoothing Pack that I've had. So I'm going to show you some of the contents and then a very basic application which you can use either on its own or underneath a shellac surface. Benefits include, it, one big thing is that it really strengthens your nails. Two, one of the byproducts of that is that you tend to get an extra week's wear out of your shellac. So if you currently get two weeks you'll get three. If you currently get three, like some of my clients, then you'll probably get like four. It's really amazing stuff, this. I've been so excited about it coming out. So what I'm going to do is just show you the contents, and then we'll get straight on to it. Just because the actual bag is filling up my um, lens, I'm going to just hold the camera for you for a moment. But as you can see, the promo pack comes in this absolutely gorgeous iridescent silver bag. The sculpting gel does at the moment, but like I said, these are promo packs. And apparently... If I'm correct in what I read um, on Salon Geek, once these are gone, they're gone. But you can still buy all the products the same on S2. This is great because it reminds me of a vanity case, like a, a bit like a makeup bag. So inside, it's all beautifully packaged. And we have a scrub fresh, a 7.3 solar oil, some of the nourishing remover, breeze light removable top coat, breeze light removable base coat and the Breezer Light Removable Smoothing Gel. We've got a Koala, a Blizzard, a special square brush. I'll just focus on that for you. And right at the base of the pack, we've got a workbook. Now from what I've read, oh, and an education video. I was going to say, from what I've read in the US, people were getting um, DVDs, um, and they weren't so sure if we're getting them in the UK, but obviously, as you can just see there, inside the workbook is an education video. The workbook, um, which I showed you a moment ago, is the one that you get when you do your education through CND. It's got the sections in to write your own notes. But I know from doing my bit of research first um, and reading some threads on Salon Geek from some EAs um, and people like Jeej and Samantha Sweet, that we cure the base coat for 10 seconds and the removable smoothing gel for two minutes and then you can do your shellac. Okay, so I've already pepped my nails and given them a good scrub fresh. So first we're going to start with the Breezer Light removable base coat. Give it a good shake and then you can apply. So as you would do normally with shellac, we're gonna work on the basis of thin to win. First thing I notice about this when I go to use it is it's a little more viscous perhaps than the shellac base coat. Now that could just be in my imagination because it's a different coloured bottle. But to be honest, that's the first thing I sort of notice. So obviously you may have to be a little bit more careful about cleaning off your brush. Don't be worried to take some off, which is what I'm just doing now. Remember the thicker your base coat, the longer removal will take. And remember to cap the edges. Now I'm going to do this to the rest of the nails. So all the nails are now painted, we're going to pop them into the light for 10 seconds. Right, so the nails have been cured for 10 seconds in the light, so now we're going to apply the breezer smoothing gel, the breezer light rather. Now I haven't ever used a gel before, so this is completely new for me. So if you are seeing me doing anything slightly untoward, please just ignore it. It seems like a really easily workable consistency. I don't know if you can see that on the brush. So we'll just take it down to the end. And this is the brush that came in the pack. So let's just apply that and see how it goes on. Apply it much the same as if you were using a large nail polish brush. Remember to do your balance point with your finger as you can see my little finger here, that will keep you steady. What I am surprised about is how thin this is coming out actually, I was expecting it to be, well I suppose I was expecting it to be quite a lot thicker, I was thinking something that strengthens the nails so much and makes the shellac last so well is going to be a little bit thicker. And I'm going to do the remaining nails now. Okay so I've done all five nails now. This needs to be set in the light and cured for two minutes, just like you would with regular shellac. Okay, so my nails have been cured in the lights for two minutes. Um, the first thing I notice is, one, it's really light. 
which is obviously where it gets its name from. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my nails at all. You can at this stage now apply the top coat and cure that for two minutes. Now the top coat um, is pretty much like a shellac top coat. If I open this for you, as you can see there. Obviously it needs a good shake up first, but what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be um, using shellac and some additives on my nails, which I'll do in another video. But so basically that's it. The only thing I'm really noticing, which is fantastic, is how strong my nails feel. Now mine are particularly short because they have been neglected a bit during the busy time during Christmas. But these do feel absolutely rock solid and I have naturally really, really weak, brittle nails. So I've been desperately waiting for this to come out. But first impressions are fantastic. If you want to see what it looks like with shellac over the top, then stay tuned for my next video. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Divine by Design C and D Nails. On Twitter, Divine by Design 1. And if you want to find me on Pinterest, it's XDBDX.